While going through a box of old stuff in a secondhand store, I found something I just had to get. This small wood and leather container would once have been a straight razor box and leather strop combination. And today I want to bring it back to life. The idea is to have a place to safely store your prize straight razor while also having a handy two-sided leather strop with you to always keep it sharp. First, let's remove the old leather that was secured to the wood using glue. I find it surprisingly satisfying to see the old stropping compound flake off the leather as I go. Now that most of the leather is removed, we can scrape off the leftover fibers and old glue. I can then finish up the removal process with sandpaper. At first, I thought I would be able to easily pop out the pin holding in the lid, but this turned out to be harder than planned. Eventually, a little gentle persuasion, brute force, is the solution here, and the lid is removed. The pin holding it in place, however, not so much. I was hoping I could gently pull it out, but... Turning the box around, it looks like the pin was in fact a nail that was bent over on the underside, so there was really no way I would have been able to remove it anyway. While I think on how I want to approach this issue, let's start removing the paper lining. I'll be replacing it with a thin strip of goatskin leather later. I was really hoping this would be an easier process, but the paper seems to be very nicely bonded to the wood and turned out to be much harder than expected to take out. Eventually though, I am ready to sand off the remaining paper and glue. At this point, I've had time to think it through and I think I know what I want to do with that pivot pin. I'll blast it down into the wood and cover the resulting hole with wood putty. Once this is dry, a quick sanding off and it will be good as new. The overall sanding can now begin, and as usual, I'll start with 120 grit sandpaper. The only tricky part here is the handle, as I want to clean it up, bring it back to bare wood, but without altering any of these beautiful lines and sharp edges. Once the grime is removed, I can switch to 240 grit sandpaper and get a nice finish. I'm going with a stainless steel screw to act as my new pivot, but as I need it to be flush with the wood, I have to first remove some material from the head of the screw. I'll drill a new hole into the lid, make sure the screw fits loosely, and then countersink the screw using a larger drill bit. I'm also drilling a pilot hole into the case to avoid splitting the wood. It's time to varnish the handles and exposed sides of the box. Don't forget the top and bottom will be covered in leather so we don't really need to get any varnish here. Varnish will help to protect the wood from dirt and moisture, but I always like to add some hard wax as a finisher. For this, I first sand down the varnish ever so slightly before applying a couple of heavy wax coats. I remove the excess wax with a paper towel and buff to a nice finish.
Green goatskin leather will give me a nice contrast on the inside of the box. I secure it in place using neoprene cement glue and gently persuade the edges flush using a bone folder. This was easier than I thought thanks to the inherent stretch in the goatskin, which makes it a very forgiving material for this type of application. While it's thicker than paper and will leave less space inside for the razor, it will also keep the razor nice and snug in the case. Once it's dry, I can then carefully trim off the goatskin using my sharpest knife and a lot of patience. I'll be using vegetable tanned leather for the strop. To ensure the leather bonds well with the wood, I have to first rough off the top, the grain side of the leather, as I want the interior, the fibrous side, to show at the bottom of the strop. It will all become very obvious and apparent once you see the final piece. The top side of the strop gets a nice strip of Niagara leather from the Rademacher tannery added onto it. Once both pieces of leather are trimmed to fit and the edges beveled, the straight razor strop and case is now ready. This was a fun little build and I love the end result. I don't know why, but the combination of wood and leather like this is really quite pleasing. I have left both sides of the strop clear of stropping compound for the moment, but the idea is that you would saturate the bottom part of the strop, the flesh side of the leather, in fine polishing compound and use this to keep your razor sharp. Then use the top side of the box with the Rademacher vegetable tanned leather side to clean up the razor. Once you've finished shaving, this box will also be the perfect place to safely store your straight razor. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, this is a great opportunity for you to subscribe to my channel. At some point in the future, I will be restoring the straight razor you saw in the video and the video for that will be here. And if not, you've got another project combining wood and leather just here.